Hey guys, we're gonna start actually getting our Redux store to emulate this calculator like we have here. Now what I'm thinking is storing the numbers that you see right up here in an array. And then as we type the numbers, we're just gonna be changing the array. Now there's one other piece of state that we need to hold in here. And that is the state of what happens when we press one of these numbers. I, I'm, I've been playing around with it and it looks like there's three different states. So the first one is what I call appending, which you just saw me do. So as I'm clicking these numbers, the numbers append to whatever you see right here, right? So the next state that I saw was when you hit enter, it, it has a replace effect. So instead of appending on, like if I push seven, it's not gonna add a seven here. It's actually just going to replace that entire number. And then the third state I found was when you multiply any of these on the side here and then you push seven, it's not going to replace it or append it, but it's going to push it up. So I push a seven and it pushes up in the stack. So what we're going to try to do today is emulate this behavior right here that we're seeing where we're going to store the numbers in an array and then we're going to keep the state of what should happen when I press one of these numbers and then we're going to get enter and these two try to get that working okay so first thing is changing our modules our state over here the default state is no longer just going to be this it's going to be a object because I want to hold two things first the stack which is just going to be an array and then the second is the input state so by default I'm going to say the input state is going to be actually I'm going to say the default is replace um, so I'm going to say input state can either be append, replace, or push are the three different states it can take. And the reason why I'm saying replace is if we refresh, when I hit seven, notice how seven replaces zero there. Um, so that's why I'm gonna say it replaces the default one. So I'm gonna try to get this to actually display over here so we can get this starting to uh, mimic it. So instead of current number here, we're really gonna be grabbing like the current state of the calculator. So I'm gonna rename uh, down here where we connected and we named our state, which is getting passed to our props. And I'm just gonna call this uh, calculator state. And then I'm going to actually expand our calculator state because our calculator state now has a stack and an input state. So I'm gonna grab the stack and input state here. And we're gonna do stuff depending. Eventually we can add a styling to make the styling look different depending on what the input state is, similar to how their calculator works. So here I'm gonna display stack zero or just the number zero. And I'm gonna do this three times. And this is gonna go up the stack. So this is gonna be position one and this is gonna be position two. So now our stack is empty by default, so all of these are gonna be undefined. So this syntax, if you've never seen it before, how it works is you either display or you take this number, but if it's undefined, null, false, then it goes to this number. So this is gonna evaluate to undefined, so undefined or zero is zero. And that's what's gonna happen here and here. But when we add numbers to the stack, five or zero is gonna be five, and it's gonna display five here. Okay, so now we're displaying the first three positions in our stack here. So now when I press these numbers, I would like to first replace this zero with a number. And I'm just going to, um, on press, move that to all our numbers real quick. So we can now actually press all of them. Oops, so put that five, four, three, two, and one, and zero as well. Um, we might, uh, do the point differently than everything else so I'm gonna come back to that okay so we have this we now need to just change how this is working here so first time that this is working so now we need to return uh, a new state so we want to keep the default state um, and what we're doing is an if statement which we're gonna assume the first one's gonna be replaced and then we're gonna add the if statement to our case later. 
So what we want to do is we wanted to uh, keep our stack, right? So stack is going to be state dot stack, but then we want to grab the first number in our stack. Or not, we don't even keep the first number in our stack. We actually just replace it. So it's going to be state dot stack dot slice one, and then here we grab whatever the payload is. And I want this to be. I'm trying to think if I want to keep this as a string or keep it as an integer. And I think I'm going to have whatever is in the stack assume it is a string just for the purposes of appending onto it. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I am this dot 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 syntax. I am keeping the current state. So that's when I spread this, I put the stack in the input state. And then I'm replacing what the current state is. So I'm assuming the input state is replace. I'm going to do an if statement in a second. But what this should do is I should just replace the first value in our stack um, with whatever I type. So hopefully when I push 9, 8, cool. We just see it replacing what I have there. So now what should happen is as soon as I hit a number and we're in the replace state, input state should become append. We should move to a new input state. And there's really no longer a reason to do dot dot state since we're replacing both of our state values. So now I'm going to hit 9. Now we still get the same effect because we don't do anything different whether we're in append or replace. So now let's add an if statement. So if uh, input state, actually I guess that's just our, our default. So state dot input state is equal to append. We're going to do something Oops. else if state dot input state is equal to replace. So under the replace condition, we know we're going to do this. And then under the append condition, copy that. Uh, we're going to just take what the first value of the stack is and append the value onto it. So we're going to say state dot stack, grab the first one, and I'm going to say or zero. And that's just in case uh, it's undefined ever. And we're going to add payload to it. And OK, yep, this, we can do the same thing here where we slice the rest on. OK, and also I didn't explain the dot 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 and the array. So if you haven't seen that, similar to the dot 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 in objects, what that does is it's going to take this array and expand it. So if I have two arrays here, A, which it has one value, and B, which has two, if I say C is equal to dot dot A and dot dot B, then C is really equal to one comma two. So see how it takes the values in here and takes the values in here and puts it. And there can be more than one value, right? I could have one, three, and then that's how that would occur. So what we're doing is we're taking slice takes, this is this slice one that takes the first value off. So we're taking the first value off the stack, but we're keeping the rest. And then the first value, what we're doing is we're just adding the payload to it. Um, and if it's zero um, or undefined, we add a zero to it. Otherwise, if it's replace, we grab the rest of the stack and then our first value is whatever we're replacing. And then we change that. And uh, expected a break statement before default. Okay, and once break here, there you go. And all right, let's try it out. So first one, it should replace the nine. Now when I press eight, it should be nine, eight. Awesome, so that works now. So next what I wanna do is get this enter button working. So when I push enter, what I'd like to happen is same thing that happens here. So I hit enter, it should take whatever values here, push it here, and then move us to the replace state where I can do this if I want to. Okay. So we're gonna create a new action. 
export const enter takes no parameters we're just gonna say type enter and now we're gonna create a constant type for this enter unexpected token oh should be a comma there we go so now in our main.js over here we added another action so we're going to bind this action so we can call it in our uh, component so I'm going to say uh, enter and I want to call it something different because we're going to be importing it from our modules and then down here we're going to be um, I'll say let's call it enter interaction so now here I can grab interaction and then on press I'm gonna say interaction so the interaction is going to be called whenever I push enter now so now we just need to uh, change our state now so I'm gonna add a new case whenever enter occurs what we're gonna do is we're gonna return and we're gonna say the input state is now we go to replace and our stack is going to be state dot stack zero and if it's undefined we'll just do a zero and we're gonna do dot 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 state dot stack there we go. So when we push enter, we keep the current stack and we're just appending to the front the first value or the zero. So let's watch it here. So for example, let's refresh this. If I do five, enter, six, five, it should look like this. So let's make sure ours does the same thing. So five, enter, six, five pops up. So cool, and we can keep pushing that up right so that's the cool thing about stack calculator is it just keeps going up and okay I think this is good this is what I wanted to occur we now have the functionality that I like and maybe we can do like a little different styling on this so we know what state we're in whether we're uh, appending replacing or pushing on uh, I think I'll look at some different colors and we'll add some different colors to the next one in the next video what we'll do is we will get the division multiplication subtraction and plus working so we can actually do some uh, operations on the stuff here but let's